Welcome to a Healthy Hormone Chats. I'm Cassandra. I am a natural nutrition clinical practitioner and period health expert. I am the owner of Inspiring Natural Nourishment, which is my online nutrition practice where I help women and menstruators support their hormones and cycle naturally so that they can have a symptomless period. So last week we talked about how my clients have eliminated their period cramps and today I wanted to talk about discharge. Discharge is the vaginal fluid that you can see on your underwear or toilet paper and is actually cervical mucus most of the time. Cervical mucus will change depending on what phase of your cycle you're in and will be different person to, to person how much you may have. So, when you are on your period, you will most likely have no cervical mucus or discharge to be seen as you will be on your bleed. Um, but as you move into the follicular phase, you will start to notice some and it will be white and creamy. And then six days before ovulation, estrogen stimulates E-type mucus, which will start to appear. You will see discharge in your underwear and you can wipe it off with toilet paper. And this cervical mucus is fertile and it looks similar to raw egg whites. And it can stretch up to one inch between your thumb and index finger if you are to pick it up. After ovulation, you move into the luteal phase where progesterone is prominent and progesterone stimulates G-type mucus to appear immediately after ovulation. And this cervical mucus is not fertile. Cervical, this cervical mucus is opaque, adhesive, and las lacks elasticity, so it will not stretch at all. Um, and cervical mucus and fluid is a sign of your health and your fertility and something that you should be proud of and celebrate when you see it. Now, there is discharge that isn't cervical mucus, and there's actually five different types, but I'm only talking about two today, which is cervical mucus, and then this next one um, that could be related to an infection. So some ways to determine if you're not experiencing your typical cervical mucus are the color and smell. So if the color is white, yellow, or green, or maybe you start to notice if it has a yeasty or fishy smell. Um, and these infections usually come along with irritation, itchiness, and discomfort. So if you notice any of the above changes to your discharge, um, then I would recommend going to see your doctor. So to wrap up today's uh, healthy hormone chat, yes, discharge is normal, cervical mucus, fluid is healthy and will fluctuate throughout your cycle. It is a sign of your fertility. And if you're wanting to start supporting your hormone health and cycle health, then you can go to the link in the description below to download your free protocol to start supporting your cycle today. And if you have any questions from today's chat about your discharge, you can leave me a comment or send me a private message on Instagram or Facebook here. Um, and we will see you all next Friday for another one of our healthy hormone chats.